Nigeria Customs Service Zone D is one among the four zones strategically carved out for administrative and operational conveniences. Customs Office in Yalwa, Bochi State, houses the zonal headquarters, Federal Operations Unit Zone D, and Bochi Gombe Area Command. The zone covers all six states in northeastern Nigeria, as well as Plateau, Benue, and Nasarawa in the north central. Being majorly an enforcement area, the zone has borders with Cameroon, Chad, and Niger Republic. The Air Force Zone D covers all of those United States. The whole of North East and part of North Central. The part of North East, well, like we have uh, Bochi Gombe, Adamawa Tarawa, Oroyobe. And part of North Central include the Video Plateau Nasarawa. Our activities mostly we suppress local activities. That is major because this zone is uh, uh, that is major activities. We suppress local activities within this zone. Both the area command, therefore you are saying you are saying you know, you always work as a team. No any problem in our duty. We work together with local city. Anybody has information you can you can go there, you can invite other to get the information. At the hinterland of the mountainous Joss Plateau, the presence of the Federal Operations Unit Zone D, in collaboration with the Nigeria Customs Service Plateau Benue Nasarawa Command, has reinvigorated their efforts of protecting the people against the infiltration of items that are inimical to their health and safety. Two thousand three hundred twenty-six pieces of used tires. 441 pairs of scrum clothing and 27 sacks of scrum clothing were seized in line with the Schedule 4 of the CET, which placed the above items on absolute prohibition on health and safety grounds. This is Adamawa State, located in the northeastern part of Nigeria. The state shares borders with the Republic of Cameroon and houses the Adamawa Taraba Area Command of the Nigeria Customs Service. It's completely an enforcement area and that entails suppression of smuggling. Well, in the command, I, I think we have only three government approved borders. That includes Sauda and Belel in the Adamawa. And in Taraba, we have Gebu. Those are the three government approved borders. Though you have numerous unapproved routes where people smuggle through, and that is why it is smuggling anyway. Once you decide to go and pass through an unapproved route, that means what you are doing is illegal. But as we all know, all the borders in the northeastern states now are closed based on the government uh, directive in 2019. The coordination between the layers of customs defense, traditional institutions, and other stakeholders is visible in Adamawa State. The men of uh, the customs services are here and they are working day and night and surely the smuggling is virtually minimized to a certain level that you will say that they are making smuggling in this area. We are all one here. In this area, there was no a time when we hustled with a custom officer. Unless if there is a lot of smuggling, that is why they will fight on getting something out of it. Why there is none, which type of fight again? There is no reason for fighting. So, so we are working hand in hand with them. Every officer that they brought here, he used to come and tell me, if at all he have problem with any of my, 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 my people here, I should come them, call them and talk to them. 
You see, I think the CGC in its wisdom didn't need fit to, to introduce these multi-level layers of operation. As a command, we are on ground here. But just as you said, we have uh, other units that complement what we are doing, like the Federal Operations, the CGC Strike Force, even the CIU. Because this, in this kind of operations, you can't go it alone. It's either you don't have enough manpower or you don't have enough equipment. So it will take the support of these units that you have mentioned to achieve your goal. So in the course of carrying out our duties, sometimes we inform them ahead that we have so, so information we want to go and treat. Please, we need your support. And they will graciously come around us. Fufure Local Government is a border community that shares a boundary with the Republic of Cameroon. The community is known for agricultural activities such as rice farming, fishing and cattle rearing. This is Gurin, a Nigerian Customs Service outstation that has a border between Nigeria and Cameroon. Here to the south, we have um, Gurin, which is the immediate community in Cameroon Republic. While to the east, we have Turua, which is a community uh, in Cameroon Republic. And uh, it's a riverine area that is, um, there is a connection between Nigeria and Cameroon. And uh, here are activities going on, farming activities, irrigation going on, as well as cattle rearing is one of the famous activities within this community. We are mostly farmers here. I am a farmer too. And I cultivate maize, rice and guinea corn. We have several irrigation sites here and we are gaining a lot. We do export a lot of farm products to the neighboring places and run our businesses here. You can witness how farm products are being taken out from here. They were all farmed here. Well, rice farming requires enough farmland, adequate fertilizer, sophisticated machineries that will harrow the farm and spraying of insecticide in the rainy season. This is actually the reason why we have an improved system of farming. And it is in this regard we are all capable of venturing into farming businesses. Based on my knowledge, we only bring our products here and sell, get our profits. We don't know where people are it's taking them The only them major product that we are doing here, uh, we thank God, we thank the, we thank the president, by bringing us crude oil. This is our normal farming. Dry the farming is a crude oil to us. It's the only thing that will, suffer, will make us to survive. The evidence of massive rice production by these communities is in consonant with the policy of the federal government against the importation of foreign rice to have a productive nation that is sufficient in food production. We are getting more progress here because we produce our farm products here. Unlike before, most people here have something doing, especially our youth. We are self-dependent. Our people don't engage in smuggling. We are just farmers. We farm, harvest our products, and take them to the markets. That's just what we do. This government is doing very well, but we plead that it assists us with more capital resources so that we can improve our farming activities. It is evident that the Nigeria Customs Service has a prominent role to cut the illegal trade of endangered species to guarantee sustainable development. Here in Adamawa State, these environmental depleters met their Waterloo. In line with the strategic role of Customs and enforcing the Convention on International Trade in Dangerous Species, 
CITES, which is also in line with the Schedule 6 of the ECOWAS Common External Tariff 2022 to 2026. The unit intercepted four sacks of pangolin weighing 105 kilograms. Evidence of a coordinated and systematic approach between the units of Nigeria Customs Service, occasioned by a harmonious relationship with the host community in both the mountainous hinterland of Jos Plateau, Nasarawa, and Benue states, and the borderline between the Republic of Cameroon and Adamawa state, shows the commitment of the service in ensuring the protection of the nation's economy, security, health, and environment.